All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wahaba Kakwadash. I say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another lesson. And the lesson is uh, on this video. I was watching from the elder uh, defender for the truth, um, Karata Zatba. I was watching this video and I, mean, I got a few minutes into it and, you know, scriptures started coming to my head. Now I understand uh, the, the elder, he might've hit some of these scriptures that I'm about to hit, but this is just an example. Uh, these guys are martyrs of Yahawashai. They are examples of novices, man. Okay. And they're being lifted up in their pride. All right, thinking that they know something and they really don't know it. And you can tell, you know, Jake is rebellious. Jake is uh, um, headstrong, you know, and they going off, man. All right, and you're going to hear it. I'm going to play a little bit of this video in a second. But this is an example of how not to be, you know. It's a reason why the scripture says this in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, study to show thyself approved. Unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. And as we, you know, culminate in this whole, the end of the, the end times, and as things get more and more real out here, and the prophecies continue to speak louder and louder, you know, you're going to have a whole bunch of guys like this, characters, upstarts, you know, even dudes that probably was in the truth at one point and then fell out. But then, you know, see things are changing and the prophecy for being fulfilled. So they might want to double back and come in and think and, and bring in doctrine that's not sound, man. Like this dude, he was, uh, I'll play this a little bit. Uh, they will not be replaced. The, and that's what this lesson is. It's showing that the wicked Israelites, the, the unbelievers, the liars, the adulterers, idolaters, all them that was mentioned. They will not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. They will not be reborn again through reincarnation in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, that's a that whatever this doctrine that he's spitting out of his mouth, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And you can tell that he's not well studied in the scriptures. Because if he was, he wouldn't make a statement like that. But being a novice, lifted up with pride, uh let me see. Uh uh. Salakia. Being a novice lifted up with pride, this dude thinks he know what he's talking about. And he doesn't. You know, you can tell he's rebellious with them with his dreads, but this is not a this is not a uh uh a issue right now currently about you know how this dude looks. It's just showing you that this dude is off, man. Uh this is first first Timothy three and six. It says, um, I'll start at uh verse five. It says, For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he be, how shall he take care of the church of the most high? Verse six, not as a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into condemnation of the devil. Let's look up that word for condemnation. He fall into the con condemnation of the devil. The condemnation, that word for slack here. Uh, that word for condemnation, all right, is a uh, crime. <laughs> like that's where you get the word crime from. It says decree or judgment condemnation of wrong the decision whether served or severe or mild this is a forensic sense sentence of judge punishment man and that's what he's going to end up doing because he's a novice man is you no know, this this word is a sword and not everybody knows how to swing it not everybody knows how to separate it not everybody knows how to uh, keep it balanced man and these guys are an example of that you know these guys are an example uh, of what not to be now we're going to break it down and let you see uh that all israel is going to be saved man but not on the first go around man okay this is uh second address second address chapter nine matter of fact this is uh titus one and nine it says hold fast the faithful word as he have been taught you see and we haven't been we have not been taught what these guys are spewing out of their mouth man okay I don't know who they learned under, where they learned under. You got a lot of cats that just, you know, wake up one day, get on the internet, find out they're Israelite, and then now all of a sudden, 
you know, they're, they're these super deep guys, man. They, they've come up with a revelation that nobody else had. None of the elders, none of the apostles brought out. They just come out with something and pulling out things out their ass, trying to sound deep, but end up sounding stupid. Okay? But end up sounding stupid. So it says, hold fast the faithful word as he, he have been taught that he may be able to, that he may be able by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayer. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they are the circumcision, meaning those that know that they're Israelites, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole households, teaching things they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Ultimately, you got a lot of cats that uh, uh, um, are teaching for money's sake. You got guys that are teaching, trying to be deep, trying to be something that they're not. Okay? Trying to trying to prove a point that's not that that's not even proven in the scriptures, man. Okay, the Lord is not gonna do away with his people. And we're gonna prove that in this lesson. All right. So it says to gain an advantage. So that word for filthy lucre sake, the Greek word there is kurdos. Strong's G twenty seven seventy one. Kerdas. Yeah, Kerdas. Kerdas. So it says to gain un to gain advantage of uncertain affinity, gain a peculiarity or degenerative case, gain lucre. So these guys are trying to gain an advantage. What kind of advantage they're trying to gain? They're trying to be deep. And they're not. And they're just coming out shallow. And not everybody is fit to break this word down because it wasn't given to every man in Israel to break this word down, but only to the elect. Lord willing, we are part of those men, the elect men of Israel. Because, and this is what makes us defenders for the truth, like the hell this page is called. Because we have to, we have to fight against people like this, man. You know, it, it reminds you of the, uh, reminds you of the story of those, uh, those. Matter of fact, I'll get it. it says Paul, we know those uh, f false prophets of Sceva, uh, All right, that try to try to uh, try to exercise a demon. And end up getting beat, you know? Why? Because they weren't set up to be that. They weren't set up to be prophets. This is uh, Acts chapter uh, 19, verse uh, 14. It says, And there were seven sons, one of Sceva, a Jew, and a chief priest, and a chief priest, which did so. A matter of fact, um, I'll start at the 11. It says, and the Most High wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the unto sick unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, you know, Jews that were traveling, exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits. The name of the uh uh name had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Yahweh. So he had vagabond Jews that were also using the name of Yahweh, like these guys, martyrs of Yahweh, which these dudes don't even understand what it is to be a martyr. Okay. So these vagabond Jews, Jews that was moving about, traveling around, exercising people, right? They took it upon themselves. They took it upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of Yahweh. So they used the name of the Lord Yahweh saying, We adjure you to we adjure you by Yahweh, whom Paul preacheth. And there were seven and there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and a chief priest, which did so. And the evil spirits answered and said, Yahweh, I know, Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them. <clears throat> prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded and this was known to all the jews and greeks also dwelling in ephesus and fear fell up fell on them all and the name of the lord yahweh was magnified and many believed and came to confess and showed their deeds why because that devil uh proved that paul was known of the angels of the most high of yahweh <laughs> okay Yahweh Shai is definitely known. 
But who are these? Who are you? Who are you? They knew that those men weren't prophets of the Lord. For them to be taking it upon themselves to to try to try a, such a great feat as to exercise demons in the name of Yahweh Shai. And so these guys kind of remind me of that. So going back, why? Because they're trying to gain an advantage among the people, man. And whatever advantage that is, whether that's to be deep, whether that's to heap up disciples into themselves. But these guys are going off, man. And we're going to prove it. We're going to prove it. And it don't take that long. So this is, uh, let me finish playing this. They are done. It's over for them. Bring it up. And that's why. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, mm -hmm. a remnant Ooh. shall be saved. Now, who knows what a remnant means? Who knows what a remnant do, do remnant means every single body? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. A remnant means a small amount. So if the scriptures are saying uh, only a remnant is going to be saved, you have to ask yourself, well, why is people saying that all Israel, every single Israelite is going to be saved? Okay, and I'm going to show you why. So when you look up that word for remnant, remnant, it says usually a small part, a member or trace remaining, a small surviving group. Why? Because only one third of Israel here in America is going to survive this nuclear destruction one third of our people are going to be saved two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed but does that mean their spirits are going to be destroyed that they're not going to be reborn back no that's not what that means and then we're going to read it. this is zechariah 13 and 8 and it shall come to pass that in all the land saith the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai two parts therein shall be cut off and die so two thirds of this is two two parts meaning two thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die. Okay? Hey, it says false prophets ashamed. And these guys are going to be ashamed in that day for, for being false prophets. But let's keep on reading. Um, where was that? Zechariah. All right? It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. That's the one third. Uh, the one third of Israel is going to survive this uh, nuclear destruction, the second death. All right. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is my power, my God. Right, because two thirds of our people don't want to accept this truth, don't want to get right, refuse to repent, refuse to uh, acknowledge that uh, um, window of opportunity of, of, of repentance is opening to them. Guess what? Let's read this. This is uh, Second Address nine and nine. It says, "Then shall they be in a pitiful case? Who are they that's going to be in a pitiful case? The two thirds, the two parts that's going to be cut off and die, which now have abused my ways." And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right. They 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 was winning in this world, but they didn't know the Lord. And they that have loathed they, they have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. So two thirds don't understand that a place of repentance is open unto them right now. And instead of understanding that, they do what? They despised it. Here it is. The same must know it at the death by pain. So that shows you that these people that are going to be destroyed and die, that they're going to know. What are they going to know? The same must know what? They're going to know this truth after death by pain. And because the Lord doesn't destroy spirits, those same Israelite spirits are going to come back through the men, through the loins of the men that do make it. Starting off with the 144,000 men, the prophets, as well as the mixed multitude of men that's involved. But you're going to have a lot of women, too, and children saved. But th th these people that didn't want to get it on this side, the same must know it at the death by pain. So what is this guy talking about? Where did, where did you get that just a remnant going to be saved and the rest of Israel just going to be what? Obliterated and never come back to the kingdom. You out of your mind. You out of your mind, and you clearly 
these guys clearly don't know the scriptures, man. They teaching things that they ought not. Okay? Again, it says the same must know it. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Because the ungodly, we're talking about our people. Like as he said, the wicked, the ungodly of our people, we're not worried about how they're going to be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Right, the world is created for the righteous. And the one third that are going to receive that pardon in the eyes of the Lord are righteous. The two thirds of our people are wicked and ungodly. They got to be destroyed. They got to learn the hard way. They got to get the hard reset, man. Okay. And why are we not worried? Because when they had an opportunity to see the uh, a door of repentance was open unto them, they slammed it closed. They didn't want to hear it. They cast it away despitefully. But the elect took, took, we worried about the elect because the elect are the same ones that took hold to this truth and believed it and didn't despise the, the, the law of the Lord, didn't cast his word away despitefully, right? But received it. Why? Because it was given to them to receive. Real quick, this is Romans 11 and 7. Let's lock it. Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel, see, the Israel, talking about the nation of Israel, have not obtained that which he seeketh, but the election. So there's an election of the children of Israel that understand his word and it will obtain what? The truth. But the election have obtained, uh, have not obtained what he's seeking for because our people are constantly seeking for the truth but the only one that's going to receive the truth is the elect that word for election strong's g 1589 eclage eclage and it says chosen election chosen the act of picking out so there's a group of people in uh, in israel the israel because the scripture says not all israel is of israel Okay, but that election, that group of Israelites that's chosen out of the whole nation, that remnant, that remnant, which we, we brought up the definition, the word remnant means usually a small part. So one third is smaller than two, thir two thirds of our people. Two thirds is the majority of our people here on American soil. A small surviving group, yep, that small surviving group, that election. That hunt because 144,000 plus the mixed multitude of our people, that's just that's a small amount because as like they brought out, Israel is the sand of the sea. Israel is as the sand of the sea. So that small remnant of our people is going to be saved from this cataclysmic second death nuclear fire destruction. All right. Let's go back. What was I at? Uh, Romans 11. So uh, 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 it, says, uh, it says, a thing or person chosen, a person of persons, God's elect. And that elect is coming out of the, the children of Israel. So again, Romans 11 and 7, what then Israel have not attained, that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the rest of our people were blinded. And you got Jake that know portions of the truth but blinded to the rest because they ain't swallowed the whole row so this word has become what a stumbling block and it says it says according to as it is written the most i have given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see ears that they should not hear until this day and david said let their table what is their table this bible this book this word may be a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them so for the fact that they can't wake up and get this whole truth is, and, and this word has become what? A stumbling block into them is really their recompense for their insolence, for their rebellion. Okay? For their rebellion. And these guys have that rebellion on them, man. These novices that are lifted up with pride. Going back to 2nd Edges chapter 9, it says, uh, Verse uh, 12, then sh uh, the same must know it at the death by pain, and therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be, a pun shall be punished, and when, 
but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. The remnant is the righteous. Even in our, even in this estate that we're in, Lord willing, we are part of the elect. We're considered righteous amongst our people. And so they're going to be saved. Who's the world is? So the world is going to be theirs from the beginning. Because they was theirs from the beginning anyway. They were that colony of Israelites, sons of the Most High, that this world was created for. And this for whom the world is created. Uh, I'll skip down uh, to verse... Uh, Yep, verse uh, 22, let the multitude, because that, that multitude is the, uh, the two-thirds of our people, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape, that grape is the elect, be kept in my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. You see? So let the multitude of our people, what, perish on this side. But those people that perish on this side, they're going to be saved. These guys brought this scripture out, Roman eleven twenty six, And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. See, two thirds of our people have to die to, to understand this truth and for their ungodliness to be taken away. They're going to die in their sins. As Yahweh Shai said, ye shall die, ye shall die in your sins. All right, John, St. John 8 and 24, it says, it says, I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins, right? And two thirds of our people don't believe that, didn't believe Yahweh Shai was the, was the savior. So what's going to happen? Instead of their sins being forgiven, like the elect sins are being forgiven, they're going to what? They're going to have to die in their sins. And at the death by pain, then they're going to understand this truth because they're going to be reborn back in the kingdom as brand new babies. Romans 11 and 26 again. And so all, so therefore all Israel is ultimately going to be saved. If you get it on this side or if you don't get on this side, because ultimately you're going to be saved because you're going to come back as children of the elect of Israel. This is Isaiah 6 and 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. So the, the elect that are saved are going to have children. We're going to have tons of children. But where are these children coming from? Well, these are the same people that died on this side, that didn't receive the love of the truth, that were blinded by the God of this world. Thy, so all thy people shall be right, all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hand, that I may be glorified. You see? A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. How is and who are these children that are coming back? They're the, 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 um, the two-thirds. Those that are destroyed on this side in the lake of fire, the nuclear missiles, and then even, even more so. The, re the rebels that are going to be purged out of all the, all the lands, the rebels of our people that are going to be purged out of all the land, they're going to die. Well, guess what? They're going to come back. They're going to come back in a reincarnation. And they're going to be good. You see? You see? So what is this guy talking? What is this guy? What is this guy talking? He's talking nonsense, man. He's speaking things he ought not. Him and his buddy right here, man. Okay? Speaking things that they ought not. Yeah, you know the name of the Lord, but guess what? You're not set up to be a prophet. You can tell by the words that these guys are speaking. They are not set up to do this, this work. They are stumbling blocks. Okay? Hebrews chapter 8, verse... Um... um Seven, for for if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for a second, because the Most High is gonna he's uh, made a new covenant with the house of Israel, house of Judah. For finding fault with them, he said, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the with the house of Israel and the house of Judah." That's all Israel, the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom, 
not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, save the Lord, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, save the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. So we're going to, all Israel are going to have these laws, such and commandments in our mind, which these laws, such and commandments make us righteous. That's why all of us are going to be righteous and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. The two thirds of our people that are on his side, they, they're, they're, they're going to be counted as least because right now they're, they're on top. But the, the elect right now are on bottom. The, the, it says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So the least of our people, which is a wicked, you take a wicked ass two third. Guess what? He's going to know the name. He's going to know the Lord. He's going to have the law, such as commandments programmed into his mind. But he's going to he, but he's going to have to die on this side. And after death by pain, he's going to know this truth. So what is this guy talking about, man? Nonsense, man. This is an example of a novice uh, being puffed up with pride, man. This guy is an example. Him and his buddy. And they're, they're deceivers, man. All right. Yeah, they, it says, let me read that again. Uh, 1 Timothy 3 and 6. Not as a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, ye fall into the condemnation of the devil, man. And these guys are novice, man. When you look up that word for novice, it says a person, <coughs> a person new to or inexperienced in a field or situation. A beginner, a learner, a neophyte, a newcomer. You see, this guy is a newcomer lifted up with pride, man. And he doesn't know what he's, what he, Salaki, he doesn't know. Uh, make a whole doctrine out of one scripture. And they That's a good point, exactly. How you make a whole, <laughs> a whole doctrine out of one scripture? Exactly. Yeah, this guy said, how you make a whole doctrine out of one scripture? Well, there's more than one scripture, man. Only the, if it wasn't for the remnant, the Lord would have had us as Sodom. Let me, let me get that. Uh, Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, they brought this scripture out, be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. See? So all, out of all the people, all the children of Israel, only a remnant going to be saved. On the first go around, but ultimately all Israel is going to obtain the the keys to the kingdom, man. For lack of better word and phrase, okay, all Israel is going to be saved, man. It's just that two thirds going to be saved at the at the death by pain, and how are they going to be saved by being brought back as brand new babies, just like you die in this world and you come back as a brand new baby after after a certain many time time of rest. You come back. Well, Jake is going to be that way in the kingdom of heaven. But the ones that's not going to have to die are the elect. Even if we are martyrs, we're going to be back, come back with Yahweh Shai to receive the kingdom as he receives it. And we're going to be in those brand new bodies. And we're going to have first dominion. As it was always planned for the elect, because the elect, the 144,000 are the first fruits of Israel, the first of their line. The first uh, fruits created by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai did it on behest of his father and created those first spirits, those 144,000 men, those prophets. Then you're going to have a mixed multitude of friends, family members, wives, children of the prophets, man. You see? Through different reincarnations, periods in life, they helped out the, the, the apostles, the elders, the brothers on down. Even in this life. You see, so these guys, hey, you got to be wary, man. You got to study to show yourself approved. This is why you have to study to show yourself approved. I open it up. I'm going to end it off again with the same scripture, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that need him not be ashamed, 
rightfully dividing the word of truth. You have to rightfully divide the word of truth. And you can only do that if you truly studied in this thing. And so with that, I'm going to say shalom and on to the next.